Okay, getting your content, uh, getting your articles. Obviously, you can write your own articles if you want to. Um, great way of doing it. You know they're going to be end, end up being unique and good quality articles. Uh, personally, I'm too lazy and I don't have enough time, so I get my articles written for me. In fact, most people who do this seriously uh, to make money tend to get their articles written for them. We will include some resources and tips and tools for writing articles yourself in the resources area of the system, uh, of your membership area. But what I'm going to look at in this video is a great site where you can get articles written for you uh, for a pretty much a, the best price you're going to find. They're uh, good quality articles and they're cheap. Okay, uh, the site is Need an Article and we'll put a link for that below this video. Um, so just click on the link and you come through to this site. You will need to subscribe. At the moment it's only $10 a month. Uh, the guy in charge does keep threatening to put the price up. Um, I think he may well actually do so soon, uh, but you'll get grandfathered in at the $10 a month or $9.95 a month rate. Now that is just to cover your membership. You do have to actually have to pay for the articles on top, but it really is worthwhile. I've been a member of this for years. Uh, okay, once you've subscribed, you need to log in. The login is if you hover over login and go to client login rather than writer's login. So go to client login and log in and you'll come to the main home area of the system. Obviously there are getting started step-by-step -step tutorials so it's well worth having a look through those. They're very simple. It is a simple system to use and they'll tell you what you need to do. Uh, but the first thing you need to do is to actually put some cash in your account for paying for the articles. Uh, if you just click on the add more button here, it gives you the option of putting in however much you want. Uh, if I click on continue with purchase here, it'll bring up the purchase option. So you can decide how much you're gonna put in, whether you're gonna pay by credit card or PayPal, and it gives you the, the rates for the different articles, blog posts, rewrite options, press releases, etc. okay? Um, so I tend to go for 550 words for 627 for most of my articles, but the main article for the home page or the, the first article that is the main keyword for the site, I'll normally go for a longer one of 750 words. So I'm going to go for a combination of those. And if you remember when we were doing a data spreadsheet, if we come back to that for a moment, the choices we made for the keywords that we're going to go after, those are basically the titles for the articles that we want written, and those are the keywords that we want targeted, uh, and the, the topics that we want covered, okay? So you need to grab those and make a note of those, because that's what we're gonna be putting in to this Need an Article system in a minute. Okay, uh, so that's how you top up your credit there, so you can get some articles written. As I said, have a look through getting started step by step, and the next thing we do is actually go to My Activity, and when that comes up, we need to go to request articles. Okay, it's already on that. And we then need to choose whether we're getting a, a medium size article or a normal size article and then run through the rest of the steps. But before that, we actually need to look at some of the details, the guidelines that they ask for. The main point here is they're gonna ask for uh, the discrete description, basically want the, the keyword, the title, what the article is going to be about. But they would also like some URLs or links to places where the writer can source good information from to write the article. Now obviously the simplest way of doing that is going to Google, typing any main keyword, hitting on search, clicking on search, and then having a look at some of the sites to see what's available. Now I've briefly done that and I've opened up this one, this one, and this one to have a look. And guess what? They're commercial sites and they're mostly just selling stuff uh, about uh, home security systems so that's probably not going to be a great research place for the article writers it may be a great place to check to see if they've got an affiliate program so that we can recommend some of these uh, the same for the next site similar sort of stuff so that's not going to be a good research place and the last one does have a bit of information on here so that one I will include because there's a obviously some of an article there so that's one start for the article writers to use for research but what we normally do, if we can't find anything else, we default back to our old favorite. We go to ezinearticles.com, type in whatever your keyword is, click on search, and 99% of the time, you will find some great sources of content in here for the articles to be written or the article writers to use 
as source information. So all you do is grab the URLs by right clicking and choose copy link address, pop them into just a text pad, open up a separate text pad and make a note of the ones that you think will be useful. It might be worth having a quick look at them as well. I'm not here because I'm just quickly running through this video. So all I'm going to do, that's a wireless one, I'll save that for a separate keyword. Uh, and again, click on that and grab it. So I've got three sources there for, oops, did that wrong, let's paste it in properly. <laughs> um, so I've got three great sources there for the article writers to use to write me an article on Home Alarm Systems. Now the other thing to pay attention to here is when you're looking at the keywords that you're going to get articles on, some are fairly similar. So for instance we've got two here that are about wireless alarm and wireless home alarm systems um, and another one here that is wireless, wireless home alarm. So when I research that I can use the sources, the same sources for all three articles when I put those article requests in. The same for review and reviews um, and then just general ones for the others. Okay, So that's the idea, you need to grab some sources for the article writers to use and then we come back to the site and put in our request for the new article. Okay, so as I said, most of the articles that I'm going to get in from site will be the basic 550 words, but for this first one, as it's for the main keyword and the domain, I'm actually going to go for the 750 word moderate research, and all I then need to do is click on continue, and it will ask me to put in the relevant information for the article researcher. First of all, obviously we have the title, which is our keyword. Then we need to, and I've just copied and pasted that in, uh, then we need to choose a category. So we need to choose a suitable category in here. I'm just going to pause while I find one. Okay, it looks like there isn't a perfect uh, category to go for. So what I'll go for is computers and technology, because alarms, I guess, is technology. Uh, or it could go for home and family, actually. That's probably more relevant. Okay, so choose the category that you want. Uh, suggested tone. Uh, controversial, upbeat, positive, formal, technical, I'm not sure. Now we're going for home alarm systems, do it yourself. Uh, probably for that I want technical or maybe conversational. Let's go technical on this one. And then keyword optimization, yes. And we can decide what the primary and secondary keywords are. So paste in your primary keyword. The secondary keyword, all I'm going to do is take the first part of that and, sorry, take the last part and pop it at the front. So do it yourself, home alarm systems and home alarm systems do it yourself. That's That'll do really, we've got two separate keywords there effectively. Uh, okay, then we need to put in uh, any extra information here that we need. So I just typed in, uh, I need a general tips article on pros and cons of installing your own home alarm system. You could decide there whether you want it negative or positive towards uh, installing it yourself or not. Uh, and then we need to actually put in the URLs that we found earlier on separated by commas. So what I'm going to do is go back to my text pad and copy those so I can paste them in. Okay, the next box or tick option, do you plan on submitting your article to to the different article directories. If you say yes, you've then got an option to choose from the different uh, article directories available. Now, the uh, obvious one here is easy in articles. If you click that, basically it's gonna give you some extra information about uh, the fact that it's gotta be formatted in a certain way, follow certain guidelines to be able to be recognized and accepted by easy in articles. So this is really what this option is for. If you choose any of these, it's going to tell you the specific rules for that article directory or submission service such as iSnare. Uh, for instance, iSnare has a minimum of 500 words. So all that's doing is giving you some extra information really uh, and making sure it's formatted in the right way. I'm going to say no to this. I will probably in, uh, submit this article to easy in articles but I will rewrite it to make it unique or I will have it spun or I will have it rewritten for me before I do so. This is a, sort of a, a main article that I'm going to use on my website so I want it completely unique. So all we then need to do is click on I agree, click on submit and that will now go through and hopefully that will be written for me within a day or two. Uh, they're normally fairly quick. Um, we do need to just check the details here before we click on submit. Just going to have a quick read. Basically just check the info here to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. Uh, I haven't, so I'm good with that. And Click on Submit 
and off we go okay so that's been submitted uh, and hopefully one of the article writers will pick it up and start working on it and I'll get uh, a, a message to let me know when it's completed um, when it's completed you actually get the chance to review it and make any suggestions as to changes that you think need to be made uh, but we'll come back and look at that in a separate video okay so that is need an article I'm gonna now go through and submit the rest of my articles that I want written so that they're ready when I come to set up my blog, and when I've got my blog set up and ready to post them, they're already written. Okay, great site, great resource. I highly recommend using this if you don't like writing your articles yourself. If you do want to write them yourself, great, go for it. Hope you found this useful. On to the next video.